this video, we're going to take a look at Dart's flow statements, if and else, ternary operator, for loops, while and do while, while and break, continue, switch. To control the logic flow of the Dart code, let's take a look at the following flow statements. If and else are the most common flow statements. They decide which code to run by comparing multiple scenarios. The ternary operator is similar to the if and else statements, but used when only two choices are needed. For loops allow iterating a list of values. While and do while are a common pair. Use the while loop to evaluate the condition before running the loop and use the do while to evaluate the condition after the loop. While and break are useful if you need to stop evaluating the condition in the loop. Continue is for when you need to stop the current loop and start the next loop iteration. Switch and case are alternatives to the if and else statements, but they require a default clause. The if statement compares an expression, and if true, it executes the code logic. The expression is wrapped by open and close parentheses, followed by the code logic wrapped in braces. The if statement also supports multiple optional else statements, which are used to evaluate multiple scenarios. There are two types of else statements, else if and else. You can use multiple else if statements, but you can only have one else statement, usually used as a catch-all scenario. The ternary operator takes three arguments, and it's usually used when only two actions are needed. The ternary operator checks the first argument for comparison, the second is the action if the argument is true, and the third is the action if the argument is false. The standard for loop allows you to iterate a list of values. Values are obtained by restricting the number of loops by defined length. An example is to loop through the top three values, which means you specify the number of times to execute the loop. Using a list of values also allows you to use the for in type of iteration. The iteration class needs to be of type iterable, meaning a collection of values, and the list class conforms to this type. Unlike the standard for loop, the for in loop iterates through every object in the list, exposing each object's properties values. Let's take a look at the standard for loop. It takes three parameters. The first parameter initializes the variable i as an integer variable, counting each loop executed. Since the list uses zero-based indexing, the i variable is initialized with zero and not one. The second parameter controls how many times to loop through the list by comparing the current number of loops, the i variable, to the total number of loops, the list of filters that length to execute. Since the list uses zero-based indexing, the i variable value has to be less than the number of rows in the list. The third parameter increases the number of loops executed by increasing the i variable with each loop. Inside the loop, the print statement is used to show each value from the list of filters list. Both the while and do while loops evaluate a condition and continue to loop as long as the condition returns a value of true. The while loop evaluates the condition before the loop is executed. The do while loop evaluates the condition after the loop is executed at least once. Let's take a look at two examples that show how to use the while and the do while loops. In the first example, use the while loop and iterate as long as the is closed variable returns a value of true. In this case, the loop continues to execute as long as the is closed variable is true and continues to loop. Once the is closed variable returns false, 
the while stops from executing the next loop. In the second example, you'll use the do while loop and iterate as long as the is closed variable returns a value of true, like the first example. The loop is first executed at least once, then the condition is evaluated, and as long as it returns true, it continues to loop. Once the is closed variable returns false, the do while stops from executing the next loop. Using the break statement allows you to stop looping by evaluating a condition inside the while loop. In this example, the asToOpen method is called inside the loop by the if statement, executing logic that returns a Boolean value of true or false. As long as the value returned as false, the loop continues as normal by calling the check for new order method. But once the asToOpen method returns a value of true, the break statement is executed, stopping the loop. The check for new order method is not called, and the entire while statement stops from running again. By using the continue statement, you can stop at the current loop location and skip to the start of the next loop iteration. In this example, the for statement loops through a list of numbers from 10 to 80. Inside the loop, the if statement checks whether the number is less than 30 and greater than 50. And if the condition is met, the continue statement stops the current loop and starts the next iteration. Using the print statement, you see that only the numbers 30, 40, and 50 are printed to the log. The switch statement compares integer, string, or compile time constants using the equality operator. The switch statement is an alternative to the if and else statements. The switch statement evaluates an expression and uses the case clause to match a condition and executes code inside the matching case. Each case clause ends by placing a break statement at the last line. It's not commonly used, but if you have an empty, meaning with no code, case clause, the break statement is not needed since Dart allows it to fall through. If you need a catch-all scenario, you can use the default clause to execute code that is not matched by any of the other case clauses. Place after all the case clauses. The default clause does not require a break statement. Make sure that the last case is the default clause that executes the logic if no previous case clause has a match. In our example, we have the string coffee variable initialized to the espresso value. The switch statement uses the coffee variable expression which case clause needs to match the coffee variable value. When the case clause matches the correct value, the code associated with the clause is executed. If none of the case clauses matches the coffee variable value, the default clause is selected and executes the associated code. 